We're actually going to start this in the middle of Chris's from Master to Disciple because we've got to press the record button at the start. He's going to look for his Pokemon pieces. You on the right side though. I'm going to be playing the Blue Flare here. First up evolve the Gaussmon, one of the few level 3's in the deck and I'm just going to drop here the Chris because you need the memory every single turn for this deck for sure. He's a minimum 3 memory tamer. You know, on Chris's side of course, Huckmon doing Huckmon things, going to the Bow Huck. And uh, I'm not sure what to do with the rest of that memory I gave him. But he's going to play another from Master to Disciple. Again, the deck so far has been set up so that it can just really dig through pieces. And Chris is going to get the Huckmon there just so he can dig a little bit more for his level 5s. Puts me at 3 because of Chris. And of course we're going to pull out Gaussmon here. Gaussmon's awesome. He's like perfect chip, da chip damage Digimon. You swing in with him like this. Check. He's 1000 so he's almost always going to be guaranteed to get deleted. He gets deleted and then you get to drop a level 4 for free with Blue Flare. I have a couple of options I could choose from, but I'm going to go with the Greymon here just because he allows me to search 4, grab 2 off the top. The first two hits here are complete whiffs, I get hybrids, but luckily on the last two hits I grab the Metal Greymon and the Deca Greymon, which is exactly what I need here. So drop these to the bottom of the deck. So now that I've got both my level 5s, my game plan is pretty much set. The idea is to choke my opponent out as much as possible. So for that reason, I'm going to actually drop here the Sora and Joe Tamer. I'll put him at 1, and now if he drops a single Sister Mon, every single turn I get a minimum 5 memory to start with. So my opponent's turn, he's going to drop that Huckmon that he got last turn with from Master to Disciple, just so he can dig for that level 5, because at this point, that's the choke point for him. He's got to find his uh, Saber Huckmons. Uh, Mulls it over, though. He needs cards to search out, so he's going to use this to find other searcher cards. That's going to be the Sister Mon, of course as well as, let's see here, I think he grabs another searcher in the Huckmon. Yep. That means he's gonna pass over his memory to me with just the Huckmon on board, which means I'm gonna get five, one from the Sora and Joe, and then three from, uh, from Christopher. Don't forget to hatch. And here, what's really nice about the save ability is that I can swing without having to worry about the Digimon you know, getting deleted. So I'm gonna swing on security here with the Greymon, and if he gets deleted, he just goes to the Christopher with the save. Unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, he's going to live here. And that means that I can really start going off this turn. So Metal Greymon comes down and a lot of things happen. First off, he gets Rush, and then I can also freeze uh, my opponent's Huckmon with the Metal Greymon's ability. And then I'm going to further use the last memory to go into Deca Greymon. Now I'm going to start swinging with Armor Purge, which means those hits are definitely going to go through. Sorry, we got to, uh, to freeze my man's Huckmon, there we go. And now we're going to swing on security. First security check, doesn't matter, still kind of weak. This is actually a pretty egregious misplay, I shouldn't have unrested because he didn't have two or more Digimon on board, but it's a great learning opportunity of how you should fight against Blue Flare. Keep at most one Digimon on the board and then one in raising. Anyway, continue the turn out here, I'm going to drop the Cyber Doramon and he's going to allow me to unrest passing the memory over to my opponent. So my opponent here is still looking for the connected tissue that is the level 5 Saber Huckmon, and one being checked in security means that he's only got 4 left in the deck. His best move here is actually to get to the Bao Huckmon, hope that it's a level 5 he draws, but it's not. And he says, well, uh, it's kind of kind of moot at this point, so he drops the system on Blanco as Blocker, gets the draw, it's still not a level 5, and that gives me the ability to attack, I can stop the system on from blocking using the male Bergemon's effect and because he has two Digimon on board, check the Bow Huckmon and then swing for the game. This is a fantastic game showing off how Blue Flare works and also how you should fight against it. Keeping only one Digimon on the board at most and then keeping one in racing is probably the way to go. This way they don't get their restand effects or their freezing effects. Anyway guys, please excuse the misplay and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.